Welcome back. I'm Lucas with Benchmark Tool and Supply. We're a CHC machine control dealer. In this video, we'll be going over the TX73 system. It's the, there's two options for it. You can either run basic with just infield design, or you can run the full 3D Pro, which will give you the option to do surface and line work. But for the first part, we'll go over the machine, and I'll go over all the hardware components. Some of these components are very similar to the MC Nav system, Easy Nav, that we talked about earlier in an earlier video. So let's go over here to the um, hardware and we'll go over it. Um, the first hardware piece is the sensors. So you'll have four sensors. You've got a dog bone sensor, a bucket sensor, and you've got a stick sensor. Um, traveling up the machine, you'll have a boom sensor. And then inside the body of the machine, there's a body sensor. If it moves on the machine, it needs a sensor to track its position as it's moving. The next two hardware items that we'll go over are the antennas on top of the cab. They've tracked the GNSS position. Uh, one will, will track your fixed position, the other one will track your heading. That works in conjunction with the body sensor to pick up the rotation of the machine. The last hardware component, or the next hardware component is gonna be the control box. Uh, the control box you can mount on magnets. It's very user friendly to install. This system can be installed in four to six hours, so you can start around 8 a.m. and be finished by two in the afternoon, a little bit after lunchtime. And then the display is the last main hardware component, and that's gonna be up inside the cab with you uh, for you to be able to see and use at any given time. I'll hop into the cab and we'll go over some of the user interface, um, button selections, setting up your project, and finding out what works best for you and what your needs may be on the job site. So the user interface of the 73 system is very similar to the EasyNav system. You've got three main panes, and the first pane is gonna be your cut fill. Your second pane is gonna be your profile section view. And then your large view is gonna be the top-down view. You can always change these configurations as needed with the same little double arrow button. Just like the button. So this 73 user interface is going to be very similar to the EasyNav system uh, where it's got three main panes. The first pane is going to have your cut fill bar. The bottom pane is going to have your uh, side or section profile view. And then the main pane is going to have your top down view. So you can already see I'm running the 3D Pro system. Uh, and I've got my surface and the line work imported in for the parking lot of Benchmark Tool and Supply. So you can see the light blue lines is going to be the EOP or edge of pavement and then the gold line is going to be the back of the curb. You can change your views with this icon over here on the far right side and you can change it to, to a split screen as you can tap multiple times to change. I've got four panes and then back to the three pane. If you push and hold uh, that button it gives you the opportunity to change to four panes, three panes, two, so on and so forth and you can configure your panels to fit the needs of what you may have on the job site. So if you really want to just keep focusing on that cut fill, you can blow that up really large. You can do your top down view, and so we'll leave it at that. Across the bottom, this is one of the main differences between the 73 and the EasyNav system. It's got all your information down here for the pitch and roll of your machine, how it's tilted for the main fall and cross slope. You've got cut fill left and cut fill right and you've got the elevation of your bucket based off the reference tooth. So you've got the same icon on the far right for the reference tooth that's going to auto detect. That's your left tooth, your center tooth, and your right tooth. You can also slide this data bar across the bottom to change it uh, for whatever may fit or meet your needs. This next icon down from the top right is going to be your bucket selection. If you have multiple buckets, you can calibrate them and then change through your buckets. This icon right here switches from 3D view back to the 2D view. This would be if you didn't have the, uh, the full pro system and you were just going to use infield layout, you could build a surface the same way you do in EasyNav and it'll give you your cut fills. So say you're on a job site that doesn't have a CAD file or uh, staked out for, by a surveyor, you can run it in 2D mode. I'm going to tap the 2D button and switch us back to 3D. Now that I'm back in 3D, I have 
options to the buttons as well. Again, I can actually pan and rotate the screens and zoom, pinch to zoom. Up top, you'll see I've got indicators that's telling me I need to travel. It's going to auto detect a line that I am locked to, which is the back of the curb, and it'll be giving me that distance to there. There's a lot of information that you could use in the 3D system that would be helpful to you. So I'll actually start to manipulate the machine so you can kind of see it in real time. As I swing to the right, you can see me closing in on that curb. It lets me know that I'm over top of it. You can actually see in the side views the curb and I can actually touch down on it and so on and so forth. And that lets me know. It's great for referencing. If I tap on, in the upper left hand corner, if I tap on the one that says benchmark shop, that lets me show that I have my line work enabled and my surface labeled. If I hit details, I can choose to do on-field design the same way I would do it in EasyNav, where I can set a flat plane surface or a slope surface or foundation. By using the eye, it toggles multiple surfaces on. So I can turn them all on or I can turn them all off. Uh, you have a lot of functionality out of the 73 system to manipulate surfaces and line work. Right now, I'm going to go back in here to details and I'm going to turn the office on and the surface, and then go back out. And now I've got my cut fill to my surface. You can kind of see it over here. Going back over the user interface, this data bar here at the bottom has a lot of functionality of it um, that may be useful for you in your specific application. So if I push and hold this data bar, it brings up options to change the order in which the icons are presented, and it gives me options and selections with a handful of settings that may be useful for you, whether you want to know the heading of your machine or the distance to the right of your machine or the, the line distance to the right or the line distance to the left, uh, the angle of your bucket. You know, there is a large plethora of options. So right now I've got pitch up front. I, I'm going to want the pitch of my machine right next to the roll of my machine so I can see the front and the back. For me, I like having the height center. You can find the, the height center really quick. Right here. I like having the height center in between my cut fill. So I like cut fill left, height center, cut fill right slide this out of the way, and then my pitch and roll. Now you can see there's my elevation for the center tooth of my bucket, my cut to the left, my cut to the right, and now I can see how much my body is sloping. It's beneficial because if I use the blade to force the machine down, you can see the pitch and roll changing in real time. So I can use that to kind of cut in a flat pad if I didn't have a surface design file. There's a lot of functionality you can get out of the 73, um, and it can meet any of your needs on your job site that you may have in, in any given moment, depending on, on what you need. Well, thanks for following along on the TX73 system. If you've got any questions, you can always follow us on our social media or contact Benchmark Tool and Supply for any technical support needs you may have. Thanks for tuning in, and catch you next time.